Hi everyone, welcome today to our passion series. Today is going to be an exceptional episode because we're here with Brent Hicks of Cardinal Financial as well as many other business ventures. What I love about Brent is that he is going to talk about how to bring the giving spirit into still a very successful business. And I think sometimes we don't realize that those two should align together. But Brent has done an exceptional job at bringing a giving spirit, a customer service, a customer oriented spirit to his very successful businesses. Hi, Brent. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, you're, you're so welcome. You have a lot to share, and I've had the luxury and pleasure of being in many rooms where you've gotten to speak about the way that you see business and um, really the value that you bring, not just to the people that get to work with you, but to your customers. So I thank, well, you, thank you for that. thank you for that. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Yeah, it's true. So tell us a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Wow, that's a hard one right off the bat. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a husband. Uh, I'm a father of some little puppies. Uh, I'm an uncle. Uh, um, you know, I, I'm a coach. I'm a mentor. I'm a friend. Um, I guess those are all kind of surface things. You know, I'm a social entrepreneur. Um, to get to the heart of the business side of things, right? Not just an entrepreneur, but a social entrepreneur. And that's someone that's socially conscious and uses business to help further social causes and to give back and to, you know, to help people that can't help themselves. Yeah, I, I, you're such an, a great example of, of bringing that consciousness into the business place. And, um, you know, I think now more than ever, it's really so important to, to see that in the business environment. Yeah, I think it's important. I think it's just important in life, right? I think it's incumbent upon us um, to, to give back and to, to be aware, to be aware of our environments, to, to help people that can't help themselves, and to be intentional about everything that we do. Um, I guess I've been blessed that I've had um, a pretty long career, right? I, when I was when I was 19 years old, I was an entrepreneur. I don't. I've never really worked for anybody, uh, and so I've had a lot of failures. And, and those failures, while you're going through them, you know, it, it's sometimes it seems like hell or purgatory or whatever. Right. But then on the other side of it, you know, I'm a believer that everything in life is either a teacher or a tormentor, and and I believe the cup is always half full. And so I try to find the lessons in things. And so. Yeah, I joke, uh, and I joke with one of my partners a lot, and we talk about, you know, we own that t-shirt, we own that t-shirt, and, you know, we've got closets full of t-shirts, of lessons that we bought. Those t-shirts represent lessons. And so I think that's something that I'm really grateful for, is, is the lessons that I've, uh, I've had to buy. You know, a lesson bought is a lesson taught, and, um, you know, we, we've got a bunch of them. So, Brent, tell us a little bit about what you're involved in currently, as far as entrepreneurship is in, is. Yeah, I mean, I, I've got a bunch of things. I, you know, we we are investors in in building home, homes and spec homes. I've got Evolve. Uh, we've got other investments. You know, but I spend a lot of my time in, in the mortgage business, and that's something that I've done for 21 years. It's something that I'm highly passionate about. I get lit up. Um, so I spend a lot of time in, in the mortgage business, most of my time, and it's a business that. Um, I got to do a do-over, right? When, when I got back in the mortgage business, I took a five-year sabbatical. And for five years, I got to think, what would I do different? Mm -hmm. And I didn't have any contingent liability. I didn't have any deals and structures and things that I didn't want to disrupt. Like I had a clean white board and I got to really think about how I would do it different. And that's how we've been executing. We've been very intentional about the business this time, not by happenstance. Uh, you know, Wayne Dyer, says everything's got intention built into it. Um, an acorn has the intention to be an oak tree. A caterpillar has the intention to be a butterfly. You know, we have built this business as to what we would look like, you know, three, five, 10, 15 years down the road. And everything, even down to the water that I drink, there's a reason why we do the thing that we do that most people won't know. 
and there aren't any shortcuts. There, there aren't any shortcuts in life. There are no silver bullets. It's just doing something over and over and refining it and doing it better than everybody else um, over a sustained period of time, right? Put time, money, investment, refinement into it. And so we spent a lot of time building a culture, um, pouring into, into our team and, you know, and then having fun, right? Building an environment that people want to be part of, that people are proud of, that, uh, you know, We've had some people in the past that left that, you know, are like, hey, the grass wasn't greener. You know, it was the biggest mistake I made. Right. Um, you know, so I'm proud of what we've built. And, you know, this time around, too, with, with, the, with the market and what's gone on, you know, we were so far ahead of the curve. You know, a year ahead of the compression conversations, we were focusing on changing our model because we knew it was coming. You did. Uh, and we may have been on the bleeding edge a bit, but now... We've transitioned, we're, you know, we're in a place of strength and we're taking advantage of the market and creating an opportunity that's a safe harbor. That's giving people opportunity where there may not be as much opportunity elsewhere. And the next couple of years, we're gonna be really blessed. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Brent, you exude so much passion and so much unique passion. But what are you the most passionate about? It's a hard question. I don't, I don't know if there's one thing that I'm just the most passionate about. I, I've got a lot of passions, right? Um, you know, I've got a passion to travel. Like, I, I want to see the world. Like, we want to be cultured. We want to see things. We want to get indoctrinated into, in, into, you know, different places of the world and different religions. And I, like, I, I want to, I have a thirst for knowledge, right? I want to just see it. And, and I want to be able to take all the preconceived notions of things that I learned and picked up as a child and view it from a different lens. And, and so for me, I, I'm excited about getting immersed into different cultures and communities and, and seeing you know, things that, uh, that I hadn't seen before. Um, what a you know, privilege. I'm, I'm passionate about you know, business. I, I love to give back. I love to mentor. Um, you know, I love spending time with, with my wife and my little furry babies, uh, my nieces and nephews, you know, I think that we will be able to have an amazing legacy with the four of them um, and, and want to really pour into them and, and show them what's possible, right? Be a rock for them and help stretch their minds and teach them that you can do anything, you can be anything. It's cliche, but, it, but it's so true, right? Anything that, if we're coachable and teachable, if we're humble enough to be coachable and teachable, there's nothing we can't learn. Right. And if there's nothing we can't learn, then, you know, knowledge isn't power, it's applied knowledge that's power. So I'm, I'm passionate about that. I'm passionate about being a student. And very well read and already very well traveled and um, just constantly every day trying to be better. And that is so obvious in you. Um, it's just, it's just blatantly obvious in everything that you do. Um, you've inspired so many people today. Um, just being around you is inspirational. Just hearing your story is inspirational. How can people find you? Where, where would you like them to look you up? <laughs> <laughs> so, How do they reach yeah, out? <laughs> and I'm not a good self promoter, so that's the, another story. I'll in my promote head. him where he does uh, it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, look, you can find me, BrentHicks.com uh, is, is the site for my mortgage business. Uh, you can look me up online. Go to BrentHicks.com, you find my email address, my phone number, my cell phone number's on there. Uh, yeah, thank you for that. And thank you for today. Reach out to me, if nothing else, and I will make sure to put you in touch with him. Um, you're amazing. You know how I you're feel amazing. about you. You're amazing, and I'm so glad that you were here today. Uh, I know that everybody's gonna be inspired by your story and uh, just keep doing what you're doing. And I promise you that I'm gonna implement a social movement into my business just from being here today. Awesome, well, I'd love to partner with you on that. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>